Now for the next question, we have to compute A2, B2 for the beam to be used in three moment equation. Now by the way, this is part B. So diba, we already have our three points dito. We have 1, 2, saka 3. Now diba, for A2, part B2, we need to take the area moment patungo sa B for the second span. Now this is our first span and this is our second span. And so since we are interested in the second span, let's actually draw a line dito. Or we can just isolate this and then let's try to draw the moment diagram by parts. So copy natin to. And so diba, this becomes our point A while this becomes our point B. And so in three moment equation, we first have to find the reactions dito sa support. And so since it's easier, if our moment center is at A, let's just find the reaction dito sa B. So to get that, we need to take moments about A. So taking moments about A, we have the resultant of this load, which is 20 times 4, which is 80. And then our moment arm is 2 meters. And so we have BY minus BY multiplied by 6 plus 80 multiplied by 2. That's equal to 0. And so solving BY, we have 26.67. And so let's now try to draw our moment diagram by parts. So let's project a line dito and also dito, as well as this point. So this is our zero line. And then diba, sa moment diagram by parts, if the load causes the beam to rotate upward or to bend upward, then we have a positive area. And then if the load causes the beam to rotate downward, then we have a negative area. Now diba, for BY, since this is a concentrated load, its degree in the moment diagram is one degree. So we have this one for BY, and then the value of this point is 26.67 multiplied by 6 meters. So this is answer times 6 meters. We have 160. So 160. And then dito naman for the distributed load, since it will cause our beam to rotate downward, then we have a negative area. So from here, aakyat tayo sa moment center. Uh, because again, our moment center is about A. And so ito yung figure natin. And then this value is the moment caused by this load, which is 80 multiplied by 2 meters. So 80 times 2, this becomes 160. However, this is minus because we are below the zero line. Now since our moment center is at the side, then a way to check if the moment diagram by parts is correct is if this value and this value are equal but of opposite signs. Because the total of these values must be equal to zero if your moment center is at the side or at the ends of the beam. Except if you have a cantilever beam. And so ito na yung figure natin. So let's now identify the centroids. Now diba for triangles, uh, generally for spandrels, if this is the height and this is the base, then our area is BH divided by N plus 1, where N is the degree of curve. And then the centroid towards the height, this is equal to B divided by N plus 2. And so first, considering the triangle, our centroid will be right here. So this distance will be one third of the base, which is 6 meters for this triangle. So multiplied by 6. And then our centroid for this spandrel is right here. Now we have B over N plus 2 towards the height. So this is 4 since the base of this spandrel is equal to 4. So 4 divided by N plus 2 which is 2 plus 1. Because the degree of this curve since we have a uniformly distributed load, this is 2 degrees. So 2 plus 1. So that's gonna be 4 thirds. And so next, we're gonna take moments about point B because we need A2 bar B2. So we need to take moments about B. And so taking moments about B, we have the area of this triangle kasi yung kailangan natin is area moment. So area moment about B. This is gonna define our A2 bar B2. So first, for the triangle, we have the area is 1 half times the base which is 6 meters multiplied by the height which is 160 and then multiplied by the moment arm which is this distance from here up to here. Patungo kasi tayo sa B. So this is 6 meters minus 1 third of 6. So 6 minus 1 third of 6. And then for this one, we have uh, our moment arm is from this point patungo dito sa B. So this is 6 meters minus this distance. So 6 minus 4 divided by uh, 2 plus 1 becomes 3. So this is 3. And so we have, since this is a negative area, we need to use minus. So minus uh, BH over N plus 1, that will become BH over 2 plus 1 since this is on the second degree. So 1 over 3 times base, which is 4, this one, times the height, which is 160, multiplied by the moment arm, which is 6 minus 4 thirds. So this now becomes 1 half 
times 6 times 160 multiplied by 6 minus 1 third of 6 and then minus 1 third times 4 times 160 multiplied by 6 minus 4 thirds so we have now let me check uh, dito let's just use 2 thirds of 6 but the same lang yung result dito uh, by the way I messed up right here this is supposed to be 2 uh, again we have n plus 2 so this is 2 and so this now becomes 4 so 4 over 4 that becomes 1 so minus 1 we have 853.33 so 853.33 and then our unit is kn m cubed this is our answer so letter a now you might be wondering kung bakit ito yung lumabas sa choices kanina mali kasi yung moment arm na ginamit yung ginamit kasi is patungo lang dito but diba we need to take moments about b so we need to add plus 2. And so yung nangyari, the moment arm right here was uh, 4 minus 4 over 4, which is only this distance. Yan lang yung ginamit. However, this is wrong. And so diba, this distance is 4 minus 4 over 4. The whole distance minus this distance. So this is gonna give us 1 to 80. But this is erroneous. Now to check if this is correct, we can actually make the load continuous. And so if I will copy this, this is 26.67 so this becomes uh, the reaction at A that will be 80 minus 26.67 we have 53.33 so 53.33 and then yung next na gagawin natin is we'll extend this load patungo sa B we'll make the load continuous and so let's add a load let's make it continuous dito so this is still 20 kn per m and then since we added the load we need to add a counteracting load so this is acting upward so this is also 20 kn per m yeah and so we can now draw the moment diagram by parts for this load we have 53.33 multiplied by 6 so times 6 we have 319.98 which is approximately 320 so this is 320 and then upward since if this is our moment center we are holding that point and then we are applying this load our beam will rotate upward so we have a positive area and then for the distributed load since we made it continuous then the value of this point must be equal to the total moment of this continuous load so let's just remove this we now have this resultant which is 20 multiplied by the span which is 6 meters so this is 120 and so our moment here will be 120 multiplied by 3 meters this distance now this will give us 120 times 3 that's 360 and then this is minus because if this is our moment center and then we are applying this load our beam will rotate downward However, since we added a counteracting load dita, then we also need the moment diagram by part of this particular load. So let's just draw another line. And then since this is upward and our moment center is to the right, then this is upward. And then this value is the resultant which is 20 times 2 which is 40 multiplied by the moment arm which is 1 meter. So 40 times 1 that gives us 40. And so our centroid for this area will be 1 third of 6 meters while this is 1 fourth of 6 meters and this is 1 fourth of the base which is 2 meters so 1 fourth of 2 and so for our area moment we have uh, a2 bar b2 for the triangle we have 1 half times base which is 6 times the height which is 320 multiplied by the moment arm which is 1 third of 6 and then we have minus this area which is uh, this is in the second degree and also this one so we have 1 third multiplied by 6 meters times the height which is 360 multiplied by the moment arm which is 1 fourth of 6 so 6 over 4 and then plus this area which is 1 third times the base which is 2 meters times the height which is 40 multiplied by the moment arm which is 1 fourth of 2 now, let me just zoom in this is our moment arm so times 1 fourth of 2 we now have 1 half times 6 times 320 times 6 thirds minus 1 third times 6 times 360 times 6 over 4 plus 1 third times 2 times 40 times 2 fourths this gives us 2560 divided by 3 or 853.33 and so since the same yung dalawa we are already sure of this answer Thank you.